21,000 people were killed in the earthquakes on the Turkey-Syria border. Those earthquakes happened Monday, and rescue crews are still sifting through rubble, searching for survivors. Finally, a bit of good news for the region tonight. The first rounds of aid are finally getting to the area. Some of that aid from right here in the U.S. Thousands of people across the country are banding together to provide supplies to Turkey and Syria after that devastating earthquake. Fox Size Alex Whitler is live in Norcross tonight to show us how people in Metro Atlanta can help. Alex? Mind-boggling images show unified efforts to rescue small children from concrete rubble. Thousands of leveled high rises, 20,000 deaths, and counting. When we say like one collapsed building, we're not talking about one family. We're talking about uh, 50 to 100 families in each building. As soon as the earth shattering news hit Gokhan Yavuz's phone, he was ready to help his home country. Everyone, not only in Turkey, but outside of Turkey is reaching out and donating. He has the space to compile, pack, and ship humanitarian supplies in his Norcross warehouse. Every night, uh, we had Turkish Airlines flight. Others from local cultural groups have called off their regular jobs to help lighten the load. If you pay attention to some of our uh, people who are helping us right now, you will see the little office badges here. Thousands of miles away, families need winter clothing, okay. thermal tents, and diapers before they can even think about rebuilding. But Yavu says hope shines through the desolation, through solidarity. Now you can drop off supplies here at this warehouse. It's on Brook Hollow Parkway. They're accepting donations from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day, although they are not accepting cash. Now, Yavuz does tell me that Turkish Airlines is flying people out for free just to help the region. If you're curious about any of this information, it will be on our website, fox5atlanta.com. Reporting in Norcross, Alex Whitler, Fox 5 News. Great to see so many people coming together to help. Alex, thanks.